Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this light blonde hair color. If you've watched some of my other videos, you would know that I originally had kind of like a light blonde, well, like a dark blonde, reddish brown hair. I don't know, I always used to call it calico because it obviously would change colors and different lightings, so and so, so and so. But um, this is quite different than most of the videos that I make on my channel. But um, I did have a few people kind of message me and ask me, you know, how did you get that color? Because most people's hair will turn extremely orange or da 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 But I must also state that I am no professional whatsoever. Um, I cut my own hair and obviously do my own hair at home just to save time and money. And also, I am honestly one of those people that are scared. or not. I don't know if I'd say scared, but don't trust... Um, hairstylist because you know I've read a lot of horror stories and known friends that have actually gone and ended up having to chop their hair off to here because the hairdresser fried the living you know out of their hair <laughs> so um, basically that's what I'm gonna do there's a ton of videos up on YouTube that shows people how they achieved their color so I thought I would go ahead and share how I achieved mine I have not had to cut any of my hair off as you can see uh, my hair is very long comes about right there um, now it's not, I know it may look a little frizzy or something, it's because um, I washed it last night and put a little bit of product in it and just left it. You know, I haven't even hair brushed it yet. So this is just how it looks um, when, yeah, this is just how it looks. <laughs> it looks funny. Um, anyway, I've done showed you how long it is. But this is just the way it looks, um, right out of the shower, um, towel dried slightly um, with a little bit of product. So, um, yeah, no straightener, no hair dryer. Those are completely out of the question now. In fact, before I actually dyed my hair, I didn't use hair straighteners or hair um, dryers. I've always let my hair be natural, and um, I used to use a lot of mane and tail um, to keep my hair healthy. And so, overall, um, before I started this process, I had very healthy virgin hair. I also have coarse, thick kind of hair. Um, it's a lot of it. So, um, it I am so uh, so blessed that it made it through it. But let's jump right into the products and I'm going to show you each piece. So basically what I first decided to do was I just had this random like crazy idea like I just want to be super white blonde and um, I just want to see what it looks like. Okay well I knew it was going to be a process okay so I've after about two months this has been a two month process for me getting to this light color hair and honestly it's it's in this light in this it looks really good like a pale white and this is the color I want it to look but in some lights it doesn't look like that so um, there's still something else I'm planning on doing but I'll mention that later in the video once I discuss what I've used okay and I'm gonna try to make this very quick so if you let's just put it like this if you have reddish blonde brown hair um, that's natural um, it's not like dark black or dark brown because that's usually what all these videos on YouTube are for hair is if you have dark black or dark brown hair um, how to bleach it and dye it. But if you have, if you look back at my videos, I have a lot of them up of how my hair looked. Some of them do have a little bit of filters on it just because um, I just was doing that for fun. But a lot of my videos that are made um, when I'm sitting right here with this camera are not, um, uh, have a little edit in it or nothing. So um, you'll be able to see the natural color of my hair and um, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, my um, eBay name, or eBay name, Jesus, uh, my YouTube name is listed here, and I think that's um, got a picture of my natural color, but it doesn't matter. It was like a reddish blonde brown, that's all I can say. <laughs> um, but you can check it out, and you can see it, and if your hair's color is similar to that, then this might work for you, but again, I'm no professional, I'm not telling you to do this, I'm not telling you that this will work for you, I'm just saying that this worked for me. So, um... The first thing I decided to grab at the store was this. Whoops. Ah, you can't. There you go. It's called the Feria, and it's a seven system light. It's a seven lightning system process. Um, lightens up to seven level levels, and it comes with anti brass conditioner. It's extreme blonde, and on the side here, it actually shows you what colors you would achieve. Um, now, um, I'll have to say I use this box twice. The first time I used it, it just kind of lightened it slightly, like maybe three or four levels, but it definitely was not what I liked, what I wanted, and it was definitely more orangish and yellowy. So I was like, okay, 
um, I don't want this brassy looking hair because the whole idea of doing this was to get blonde hair, right? So I decided, okay, um, let's just try it again. So um, I waited about two weeks um, or a week and a half and I went and got another box and put the box, put this box on it. And, um, you know, I do have pictures of the process of all this. I just um, don't have them right now to insert them here, but I'm going to make another video um, and show you guys the actual process that I used. Um, but I look really funny, <laughs> you know, rub my hair in cellophane and like no makeup and just crazy. But, um, a lot of people make videos like that. So, um, I may go ahead and make that like, I may just start making some beauty hair product videos. Um, since this is obviously something I'm going to be doing with my hair, um, until I decide I want to go back natural again, or at least dye it back to something more like my natural color. But we'll just see how it goes for now. I'm pretty satisfied with this and, um, we'll just see. So I put, th I ended up using this twice. And you know, as you can see, it's still not close to that. And I must say that um, it's cloudy outside and I have this light on and this light reflects like this orange shade. So like the top of my head looks kind of orangey, <laughs> but the rest of it looks okay. You know, it just depends on the lighting. Um, so after I used that, it was basically, you know, a blonde but it still had orange in it which I've read an orange is the most difficult thing to get out of your hair oh um and before I actually put this second box on I learned by watching many videos and watching some or uh, reading some blogs that this baby right here is the holy grail to bleaching or dyeing your hair because um, this stuff right here actually has bleach pack in it it has a, ba a, a bleach packet um, and then you know like a 30 volume developer and then the shampoo and um, yeah I think that's about all that it came with that's kind of like what the shampoo came in but it's purple and I'll get to the purple shampoo next okay so the coconut oil is amazing oh my god when I put this on my hair and did that bleach box kit for the second time um, I could really tell a difference in my hair. It was so soft. Now, this is going to make your hair really greasy. They say that you can leave it on. I think it was two to three hours. Um, but I actually, the first time I used this, after that first bleach process, and before I put the second bleach box process on it, I used this, um, I slept in it overnight. So it was in my hair a good 12 hours before I put the second bleach box dye on. So this stuff is amazing um, you definitely want to get it when it's um, chunky if you can kind of make that out you have to chunk it up and I have these little spray bottles and I don't have one with me right now but what I do is I melt put this or basically I'll take a spoon and just scrape it and put it inside my spray bottle I'll set it in the windowsill if it's a sunny day or I microwave it but you got to be careful with that because I actually melted the bottle too by mistake so <laughs> You don't want to do, you don't want to make that mistake, but it still worked. You know, I just threw the bottle away afterwards. I couldn't reuse it. And it smells amazing. Now, you can put this on your hair, your skin. You can cook it as, in, with your food. It's very natural. It's an organic extra virgin coconut oil, 100% certified organic and pure. And it says right here, great for cooking, baking, skin, and hair, hair care. This is a 16 full ounce, so it's a lot. Um... This is also good to use as a hair mask so that um, between washings, which I only wash my hair maybe once, twice a week at max, I always used to do that um, even when um, I, before I dyed my hair, I would only wash my hair once, twice a week um, just for the health reasons and to keep that natural oil going on. So yeah, this is amazing. I would definitely get it. Just make sure that you get um, the 100% organic coconut oil. And I love this stuff. It smells so good. And you can just use it as a hair mask. Um, so after I did the two bleach processes with the coconut oil on the second time, um, a week later is when I went. And after ra all the rave reviews, and you're going to know what I'm talking about here on a toner, um, on the, all the rave reviews of um, trying to get that brassy yellowness out of your hair, this is what I went and got. Well, I didn't get it. I bought off eBay or Amazon. I buy everything on Amazon. And that little coconut oil is about $11 on Amazon. So, not bad. Okay. So, this is it. 
the Wella T18 used to be White Lady. It's now called Ultra Light Ash Blonde. Oh, I'm sorry, Lightest Ash Blonde. It's a permanent liquid hair toner. Um, it does wash out after a few washings, um, but it does work. It worked amazing. It took that yellow out so good. This is the bottle that it looks like. Whoops, Wella Color Charm. See, I always get confused with this. But yeah, anyway, this is the little bottle here. So basically what I did was I took this whole entire bottle because I have long hair. <coughs> I put this whole bottle. Uh, I don't have the other container here with me to show you. Um, um, okay, you know how when you, you know, you get a box of dye and it comes with the little um, applicator tube and you shake it and that's what you use to put on your hair. Okay, I have um, a pack of those. And so um, I just used one of those that was not used and um, poured this whole thing inside there. Now you don't have to use the whole thing if you have shorter hair, but if you have longer hair, you may want to. Um, I poured the whole thing into that bottle and then I, I didn't even have, I didn't even put the developer over here, I'm sorry, but uh, the developer, I should have remembered to bring that over here too, but I didn't. But it's a big, I got this big huge tube of Wella Color Charm. It is 20 volume, and so what you basically do, and it says the directions on the back here, but you use one container of this. Whoops, I don't drop it. <laughs> There's nothing in there anyway. Um, it just looked weird, like you can still see stuff inside of it. <coughs> anyway, okay, so one of this, and then two of the 20 volume developer poured inside that little um, applicator tube. Shake it up. And um, you can either pour it inside one of those mixing bowls and use a brush or just straight up use it um, like you would put on hair color. So that's what I did. I put it on and um, basically what it is, it's like a purple, it turns to a purple color. And the purple color is on the color wheel, it's the opposite color of reddish, um, like orange, red, or yellow tones. Mainly, I think it's basically yellow because orange is more of a blue tone. So I had a lot of yellow still in my hair, which I still do. So I'm going to have to probably put another one of these on or I may just put a whole other box style on. I don't know quite yet what I'm going to do yet. I'm just giving it some time because um, the last time I did this was about um, a week and a half ago uh, when I put this on. So I'm not trying to damage my hair. I'm not trying to rush this. I have no goal point. I'm just experimenting just having fun <laughs> I used to dye my hair a lot when I was in high school too um, I used to have blonde hair in high school but um, I didn't know anything about this stuff back in the day so my hair turned quite brassy a lot uh, when I was in high school with blonde hair but for me now a lot of people say to only leave this Wella toner on for more than um, five or ten minutes my hair didn't do anything after five minutes I actually left this thing on the whole 30 minutes all the whole 30 minutes and my hair was you know, as you know, if you've used a toner or this toner, it turns completely purple. So my hair was solid purple, you know, and I was thinking, wow, wouldn't that be kind of neat if it actually did turn out purple? It didn't. But <laughs> I was thinking, you know, I could live with that because it washes out a little bit. Um, every review or video I've watched, people have talked about how the purple will, um, you know, fade away after time. It just kind of just fades out. And some people get gray hairs and that fades out as well from using the toner. But my hair was not that light. Um, but it did tone down the yellow tremendously, and I am very proud. Um, so I've been so that is what I used, and I may get another one and see what happens. Um, now, just um, every week I've been using the coconut oil um, in between the washings. I'll put this on, leave it in my hair. It either depends. I may sleep in it, or I may leave it on two or three minutes, as it advises, and then I'll just go shower. Now, when I get to the shower, here's what I do to kind of keep the hair and maintain this color the way that I want it. And um, basically what I do is, um, I wash my hair twice. So the first stuff I use is, John, this is like horrible lighting, you can't even make this stuff out. Okay, so John Frieda Sheer Blonde Color Renew Tone Correcting Shampoo. It's very, very, very purple and it smells amazing. And you wanna be careful using this stuff let see. I hope I don't score it out too much. You have to be careful um, using this stuff here. Like, um, too much because it can dry your hair out. Okay, yeah, I got a little bit out. Um, you can see. 
it's really dark. It doesn't look as dark on this camera here, but this stuff is, what you can see on this tube here. God, it's not coming out near as dark as it should. Um, but this stuff is really, really um, purple and amazing. It smells great. So I use these. I have both the shampoo and the conditioner. <laughs> um, the conditioner, as you can see, isn't as dark as the shampoo, but it is still kind of a purple. Horrible lighting, and this is a horrible camera. I gotta stop using this webcam. It's just so simple and easy to use this thing because I don't even. I try not to edit, you know, and just keep it free flow. Um, even if I mess up, oh well. <laughs> it's YouTube. Um, okay, so these are amazing products. John Frieda, uh, the shampoo and conditioner, the tone correcting. I've noticed that it has um, helped. I've only actually used them maybe four times now. Because um, as I said, I only wash my hair like maybe once or twice a week. So um, that's not washing my hair that much um, in between to really give these products a full-on review. Um, but maybe I can do a full-on review of these products because I'm going to start making some beauty, beauty product videos on my channel too so I can just make I'll just make a playlist um, for that um, I'm just random I'm a, ver I'm a very variety type person a lot if some of you have been watching me you'll notice that okay now this is another super super amazing shampoo it's argan oil um, I'm sorry argan shampoos special formula by maple holistics this is sulfate free which is very good for people that have blonde hair um, because it has keratin in it too because when you bleach and dye your hair um, you know you're stripping your hair of pigment you're stripping your hair of all its natural oils and the keratin and everything so when you use these natural um, hypoallergic um, hypo, it's actually hypoallergenic sorry I didn't read that right it's windy today it's amazing that door just shut if you heard something it's not a ghost <laughs> anyway um this is just amazing it says to rinse your hair and massage quarter sized amount through scalp and allow um, the benefits to last for about three to four minutes or sorry two to three minutes before rinsing and then repeat and follow with a final rinse repeat and follow wow so it sounds like it's actually telling you to use this twice and I only use it once um it's white. Mmm, it smells so good. And it's like, it's just this super natural shampoo. Um, I got this on Amazon. They also have sh uh, the conditioner and some hairspray, too. Um, it has, see, here's some of the stuff that's in it. Um, yeah, argon oil, keratin. It's kind of small writing, sorry. Um, chamomile, um, natural vanilla honey fragrance, and um, it's got avocado oil. Um, it's very natural. There's no, um, you know, like some of those store bought um, shampoos and products. It doesn't have any of that stuff in it. And um, I love how it has this natural, beautiful um, little leaf on the front, you know. So, um, yeah, I would suggest getting this. I think this was about 9 or 10 bucks. Um, so, yeah, if you're going to go blonde or if you have blonde hair, you know that it's going to be expensive to keep the hair looking the way you want it to look. So, keep that in mind if you decide you want to do any of this. And, again, these are just my, these are just the products I use. In no way am I saying these are the best ones. Am I no way saying this is the ones you should go out and get? I'm just showing you what I use and what I've learned after this past month what's been helping me um, because like I said I'm not um, a professional in dyeing my hair um, but I do dye and cut my hair at home I mean I lo I've always been cutting my hair at home for the past like four or five years so um, I love my hair and I try to pay um, you know a lot of attention to it because I don't want to lose it and I don't want it to fall out um, but after dyeing it you know as you can see it's still pretty healthy this is my natural hair I think I said that at the beginning of the video um, so it's like pretty much matches all the way through pretty much yeah so 
Okay, what's next? <laughs> Just a few more products here. This is some amazing conditioner. So what I'll do is I'll use, like I said, the two John Fridas. I'll leave the shampoo, lather it all up, leave it in about three or four minutes. Do the conditioner, only leave it in maybe about a minute or two. Take that all out, round two. <laughs> shampoo with this argon oil and all the other stuff and it's so amazing okay and then I jump after I've left that in about two or three minutes so be prepared to be in the shower a little longer than you normally would be if you're just wash if you're just um, like rinsing your hair or washing your hair like normal you're, and if you wash it twice you'll be in there a little longer especially if you're leaving them in like three four minutes at a time <laughs> so um, this is keratin smooth by Tresemme love this stuff it's huge got this on Amazon and it came in a double pack um, and it was like eight or nine dollars I think so a heck of a good deal um, keratin infusing conditioner controls frizz up to 48 hours um, and it smells great it's white can't really see it yeah you can there it is no oh, but mm, it smells so good it really does it's amazing this is some amazing stuff right here guys I would definitely get this even if you do not color treat your hair this isn't specifically made for color treated hair this is specifically just made for um, bringing back that keratin making it stronger healthier eliminating those dead ends split ends um, yeah so trust me keratin smooth I love it, it smells great and I've only been used this maybe three times because um, I don't wash my hair hundred a lot of times and I don't use hair dryers and I don't use blow dryers and I mean hair dryers blow dryers they thing. anyway I don't use a hair dryer and I don't use straighteners I don't use any heat product the only heat that goes on my hair is hot water in the bath but I usually always turn that knob so it's more kind of like a cool or warmer because um, when you wash your hair with warm water it can fry it more and make it more frizzy especially when you go to the rinsing of the conditioner so just be sure to, um, this is just a little tip that I've learned along the way even way before I started dyeing my hair just be sure to rinse your hair um, with cool water and another thing that I see that's wrong with some people um, or with some of the ways that they brush their hair I'll see people just taking their hairbrush up here and just start yanking down and it's like no ah I mean that's really how I feel because it's like you need to rip your hair out uh, or pieces out at least take it from the bottom here and brush from the bottom and then just make your way up that way you know you're not ripping extra hairs out from up here trying to get to the bottom you know what I mean when you brush and you feel all those knots at the bottom don't do that because it's gonna mess up your hair you want to start from the bottom and go up when you're brushing at least that's what's always worked for me I've had health I had very healthy hair um, before I you know did all this I still feel like my hair is pretty healthy um, if you watch some of my older videos, you'll see the other color, and you'll see that it basically looks about the same. As, <clears throat> as far as the way it feels, it still feels the same. Um, people that see me, they're like, how'd you get it like that without frying it? Or how'd you get it without having to cut it all off? It's like, I was just very careful, paid attention, and I researched, researched, researched. Watched hundreds of videos probably every video on YouTube that comes up in the top searches for getting platinum hair, blonde hair, or do it yourself at home, hair dyeing, all that stuff. I mean, I spent a lot of time just researching because I didn't want to just jump right in. So, um, uh, oh yeah, two more products. Wow, Jesus, and look at time it is. Okay, um, Professional Silk Works, smooth, silky, sh uh, shiny hair. I use as you can see this lasts forever <coughs> I bought this about six months ago but I use it every time I wash my hair I've used this before I dyed my hair and I'm still using it today I put this on right after the shower after it's been kind of towel dried and damp I use just a small little dime size in my hand rub my hands together and I just kind of smooth it in on the ends right here just smooth it in and it's amazing I mean it makes your hair so silky and smooth and um, it's by professional the nature's therapy I love this stuff if you haven't tried this and um, you're wanting that real silky shiny smooth kind of hair look then get this because this stuff works great um, and the last product that I put on my hair when I'm all done with the showering 
I'm all done putting my silky smooth in and uh, I've let it dry. I pretty much wait until my hair is almost dry. In fact, I don't have this in my, in my hair right now. I don't have any frizz control in my hair right now. Um, when I washed it last night, I just put this in and that's it. Um, and then I've slept in it and it's and it, I feel like it looks pretty good, you know, to be for that, you know, it looks about the same as it did before I dyed it. Um, but this is the last product and um, I'll put this on there. It's called Expert Finish. It's John Frieda. I love John Frieda products. Um, Frizzies Polishing Serum. It controls flyaways and it boosts shine and smooth. I haven't used much of this. I haven't had it super long. But um, when I do use this, it's amazing. Um, you only want to put a tiny little bitty drop just like with this stuff. It's They're kind of the same. Um, this just really helps with more of the frizz. Um, so just put a little bit on there and then just rub it through your hair. It can be wet. It can be dry. I prefer to use this when it's dry just so I can really kind of know where the flyaways are and kind of take care of it. Um, I need to be very careful because I don't want my hair greasy and flat. So I just kind of like rub it, um, you know, rub it in my hands real good and then just kind of like just smooth it around um, and that. And um, I try not to brush my hair very often either. Maybe brush my hair maybe once um once or twice a day you know if I'm not going anywhere then I may not um, some of the things that I have cut out is trying to put my hair up in a clippy uh, I'm trying to slow down on braiding my hair because I know braiding can kind of break your hair up break your hair and stuff so um, if I do do a braid I'll just do a really light um, just a real loose braid um, just to kind of give it that little um, I really love that mermaidy kind of wave look um, and crimped kind of looks 80s <laughs> Um, it looks really cool, but um, yeah, um, thank you for watching on how I achieved my blonde hair. Um, I may post the videos of all the steps that I took or um, the processing um, when I actually put it on and recorded myself putting it in my hair and looking like a crazed idiot with no makeup and holy clothes and <laughs> just looking crazy, you know, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I got my windows open and it's blowing right in and this is pollen season and so pollen's kind of going everywhere. Um, but I love nature, and um, if you've watched, you know me on this channel here. This is not really the type of videos that I normally would make, but um, this is a new thing that I'm doing here, and um, I'm so excited about my hair, and I'm so excited to share it with you. And please um, post your comments below and let me know what you think of this new hair color. Um, if you don't like it, that's okay. Um, I know I'll probably may get some hate emails or responses. Um, that's okay. Just try to be, try not to be too critically rude. Because it just wouldn't be very nice, would it? No. Because, you know, we're all here to have a good time and share, you know, share ourselves. So if you don't have nothing nice to say, just don't say nothing at all. Um, but I would appreciate some comments and I would appreciate if anyone wanted to share um, with me. If you've done this and you haven't made a video, um, Share with me some of your thoughts um, or some of your ideas on how you achieve this color. Or if you're wanting to go this color and you have any questions, be sure to ask me below. Um, <clears throat> I, you know, I've spent so much time on this that I might be able to answer your questions, but I'm not going to just give you the, hey, go ahead and do it, because you never know what's going to happen. And I don't want to be responsible for anybody's hair turning out horribly messed up if it shouldn't be. Um, if you could just take the pr proper precautions. But as I said before, I don't trust hairdressers. And I, honestly, I'm not the type of person that would recommend someone to a hairdresser. I just, I don't like them. I mean, no offense, but it's just, you know, they're all about the money. You know, all about the money. I mean, unless you have a really good friend, that's okay. You know, trust, you trust them. But just walking into any salon and saying, hey, I want to go super blonde. Help me out. Well, they're probably going to mess your hair up. And that's just the truth. And I'm not fabricate anything I'm just saying and I know that maybe some hairdressers may think that this is very rude that I even said that but um, I mean really it's just from personal experience because when I was in seventh grade I went to a hairdresser and um, I had got highlights in my hair and I was so upset because we paid like $300 and I couldn't even see the highlights I mean you couldn't even tell they were even there and um, it was supposed to be a birthday present but da -da 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 -da. anyway I just didn't <laughs> it didn't turn out the way I'd hoped but, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you know of some other amazing products, too, that um, work for you and your blonde hair, post them below. Um, and, yeah, thank you all for watching and subscribing, commenting, liking, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, take care. And if this video helped you, let me know. 
if it didn't help, I'm sorry. Um, I just, I don't know. This is just what I did. And it worked. Um, but I'm planning on either going to put another well toner on or I may put um, a more ashy blonde on in the future if I decide to keep this color. Or I may just go back to my natural color. And I'm thinking about holding on to this color through the summer. And then maybe in the winter go back to um, something more darker, more natural. Like my natural tone. But for now, this is it guys. So um, I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. I love you all. Thanks for subbing, liking, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, so bye. Peace.